We'll be working with a 22 pin today. You'll need a tapestry needle, scissors, and these safety eyes. Really cool. Um, got them on Amazon. Link will be below. I used the 12 millimeter for this video. And this is the Line Brand Basic Stitch Anti Peeling and Mustard. Worsted weight. This is Mainstays, which is a Walmart brand. I couldn't find white in the other one. And this is Red Heart Super Saver in medium time. Make sure your machine is set to zero by turning the knob. We're going to cast on here with the first black pin. And you cast on by going every other pin with the yarn as you turn it. Lock it in there. Do a medium to tight tension. Hit subscribe, ring that bell, and leave a comment. It helps. And with the yellow, you go 40 rows. And we're going to cast it off here. Put the yarn on the tapestry needle. Go around one more time. And stop before you get to that black one, otherwise it'll fall off. Start putting on the needle. We're going to get it off and cinch it. And if you've ever made a hat using a knitting circular knitting machine, this is kind of how we're going to do the head here of the flower. You just pull it through itself, like fold it in half, cinch both ends closed, and then you'll tie it off. We'll set that aside and we'll work on the petals. The petals are, you're going to cast on with the white and you're going to do 20 rows per petal. Now, if you use a different color, I'd go 40 and fold it in half and do the same thing that you did with the yellow. But we're using white and you can't see the, the fiber fill through the white. We're going to cast off, go around one more time after that last row. Put your yarn on the tapestry needle again. And start going through each uh, pin. There we go. Cinch it off. And then don't cinch the other end. Grab your... Um, polyfill or fiber fill. This is the best uh, fiber fill. Uh, grab a little bit, not a full handful, just kind of stuff it so that it's pillowy. Now we're going to work on the legs with the green. And you're going to cast on the same way you did the face and the petals, every other pin, starting with the first black one. Uh, medium to tight tension and you're gonna go 40 rows we're gonna cast it off the same way as well so you uh, cut it do one more row don't go all the way to the black one it will fall off put your yarn on the tapestry needle and start taking each Stitch off of the machine till you have all of them off. And then stretch it out and cinch both ends. And we'll set those aside. You make two of those. And now we're going to make two leaves with the same green. 
And you're going to cast on the same way you did the other items. Medium to tight tension again. And you're going to go 20 rows. And we'll go ahead and uh, cast it off the same way as everything else. Put it on your tapestry needle. Take them all off and then you'll pull it uh, close, cinch both ends, stretch it out, and you'll have two of those. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the eyes on. You just poke them through where you want them. I personally think I put them a little too high for in this video. Um, I'd put them not midway down, but a little bit above midway, maybe like an inch and a half down from the top. And then you put the back sides on. I had a little bit of trouble with the other one. Just snaps in there. And then you take some fiber fill and you will fill the head um, so it's like, maybe like tennis ball size. Once you feel like you have it right, you're gonna take your tails, put them on a tapestry needle and feed them through the inside of the head. Um, this will be to hide them later. Cut them and they'll just stay inside. And then you take one of those tails and you weave it through this bottom fold, you go every other uh, bar or stitch, not the full stitch, just go every other. So you kind of create a drawstring. Then you pull it through and you will cinch it closed and tie it off. Don't pull it too tight where you rip your yarn. Um, oh, it looks like I have the tail stuck out the top. I didn't pull it all the way through. Trouble. Yeah, just weave those tails in and you pull them out another side and then you can cut them off. Lost the head. Then you can put these tails from the cinched in, put them inside and cut them off as well. And now you have your head of your flower. And you can, uh, you're more than welcome to ha add a smile. Now we're gonna work on the leaves or the arms. You kind of just take the top and use the tail that's already there and sew the top together about a quarter of the way down. And you'll do that with both of the leaves. And just go back and forth through the stitches Now you have one leaf and you'll just kind of weave it in to tie it off.
Okay, now we'll work on the legs. You're going to roll, stretch out the piece that you made for the legs and then kind of roll it into itself. About one roll's worth. Uh, take the tail that you have there and put it on the tapestry needle. Kind of tuck in the end and line up the stitches so that they look like that. Weave it in a little bit to get it closer. And then you're gonna do the mattress stitch if you've never done it, it's, it's simple. You just grab those two bars between two stitches and you can go one bar. Uh, just gets you further by going two every time. Sorry about my terrible video skills. So you just do that all the way down and try to keep it the same rows, otherwise it'll look a little wonky. Just going back and forth, back and forth, and you'll see it kind of take shape. You don't have to pull it yet. But just to see, you can pull it and it'll bring those two sides together and make it look like it's one row. So it's pretty neat, it's kind of seamless. So do that all the way down and you'll do it to the other leg as well and you'll have two legs. Now we're gonna assemble, it, assemble everything. You got your six petals You're going to sew them to the head starting from the center. So take one tail and bring it down to the bottom and then tie it off with the other tail. So we're going to go down one side. If you kind of flatten the head, you'll see where you want it, want to place it. And you're just gonna stitch it to that row. Back and forth from the yellow to the white. Trying your best to stay on that row and uh, make your stitches kind of blend in. Pull them tight. Okay, so there's one. We're gonna add the other one and to keep the petals stable, you're gonna do the same thing where you take one tail end and tie it to the other, but to keep the petals stable, you not only sew them to the head, but you sew them to each other. I will show you here, so attach it. to that same row. And then you're gonna do similar to the mattress stitch, edge to edge. You're just gonna take two bars from one petal and then go into two bars from the other petal about a quarter of the way up so that the petals aren't floppy. And I sped up this video a little bit too, so it's not like super long. And I'm doing a voiceover because I have a very loud house with two dogs and three kids and a husband. So 
I decided to do a voiceover. I hope this video helps. Uh, it's a super cute flower. Um, I hope that you have fun creating it. So you'll take the other petals. This is the third petal and you'll do the same thing. Uh, you're gonna do three petals on one side, three petals on the other, and you'll have a gap on the bottom for the legs and the leaves. Okay, so now we have all six and you've got lots of yarn in the back, but we'll worry about that later. I'm gonna add the legs. You're gonna add both of them the same way, so I only recorded me doing one leg, put the yarn on the tapestry needle, weave it into the one of the sides so it's even. And you're just gonna go back and forth just like you did with the petals. Make sure it's secure, go ahead and tie it off to the other tail. And then you'll put both tails on the tapestry needle and weave them into the leg, pull it through and cut them off. And then add the other leg the same way. And then once you have them both on, kind of uh, take that last tail and stitch them together a little bit right there. Tie it off, weave it in the leg it and then now we can see it kind of forming we will and then turn it over and then uh, tie off the white tails and just weave them into the petals just like everything else you'll cut them off and just go all the way around weaving in the ends Now we're going to attach the leaves. So here's one leaf on the right side. You just attach it between one petal and one leg, kind of overlapping the petal and the leg. So it comes out in front of those. Just place it where you think it should be make it look like an arm, and then you just go ahead and attach the other one the same way. And then to hide the, the yarn tails from the leaves, just pull it through to the back side. Tie it off and weave it into the legs. And trim. And ta-da, you have a daisy. And you can bend the bottom of the legs, make it look like feet, cross them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.